Lance Corey here. We're at the start of the 2011 Red Bull X Fighters in Dubai. I'm here for you guys answering the questions you guys sent in. Here we go. FMX in the next few years. That's hard to say, you know, because in the world of freestyle and action sports, people can't even predict what's gonna happen in the next six months. It's like people are learning stuff crazy fast or it kind of slows down for a little bit and then all of a sudden it spurts up. So that's real hard to say. I know, uh, I know here today in Dubai, all 12 riders out there are, are all top level. Everyone's riding great. It seems like everyone out there could get first place at any minute. It just, uh, I think a lot of riders are just getting more and more confident, smooth, solid. A lot of guys are having big tricks nowadays and uh, I just see a lot of the courses kind of separating the guys. Courses that are a little harder to do tricks on, stuff like that. That'll, that'll I think separate some of the guys who have really, really good bike skills and then maybe just, you know, some of the guys who have really good tricks and not as good of bike skills. Um, stuff that keeps me calm. It's hard to say, you know, because I've had times where I've gone in there completely nervous and it, it's sometimes hard to calm your nerves. I know one thing for sure is having confidence in yourself as well as confidence in the course you're riding and just confidence in everything you're going to do out there. When you go out there with the confidence, you can go out there a little bit more relaxed and going, I got this, rather than wondering or worrying if you're going to make the stuff you're going to do. So, yeah, I think just being confident in yourself gives you that confidence out there and makes you a little less nervous. Confidence to pull my first backflip to dirt? Well, I, I started trying it because I wanted to be better than the other kids my age, you know? I saw other kids my age, I was like 16, 17 when I started attempting it, and no one else my age was really doing it. So I was like, man, if I could get on this now, I could be one of the younger kids doing a flip. And um, I was lucky enough to, right about the time I started to flip, Matt Rabot was coming to America a lot. We connected, we became good friends, and Matt showed his confidence in me and helping me all the time and was always like, yeah, you got this, you got this. And he told me like, yo, dude, you're good in the pit. You gotta go to dirt. And, and I knew that a friend of mine, as well as a rider who knows what he's doing, when he tells me that I'm ready, like, I, I trust in him and I had the confidence from there on out. I, I, right now, when I look at the freestyle field and all the tricks that are being done, there's still a couple of tricks that aren't being done upside down that are being done right side up rock solids or double grab, one hand grab. Uh, there are double grabs, you know, but like full one hand grab or, you know, it's hard to think about, but there are tricks right side up that people aren't doing upside down. I see that as stuff that can definitely be something you're gonna see in the next couple years. A person of the past, who would that be and why? That's hard to say. There's a lot of great people in the past. Um, I don't know, in the past, maybe it'd be Hugh Hefner. We'd be chilling with half-naked girls all the time in my 80s, just hanging out, good money. He's probably just always chilling. Uh, that'd be pretty cool, but that's not too in the past because he's still hanging out. Most frustrating thing, me as a rider, um, sometimes it's when you get down on yourself low confidence on some tricks, which always happens to the greatest of us. And then uh, wanting to get into certain events and maybe you don't get an invite. That's always a letdown, you know, when you're like, man, I want to be there, I want to be there. And they're only going to take eight guys and there are a lot of us great riders out there and sometimes you don't get picked. That, that's always a bummer. Yeah, 10 years. 10 years from now, I'll be 31. Or I could be 30 depending on what months you're saying in 10 years. But, um, in 10 years, I could see myself being a pro probably a retired freestyle rider, looking back on everything I accomplished, you know, with a trophy case of a bunch of medals and photos of places I've ridden and great places, great things I've done, and hopefully, you know, showed other kids it's possible and created other dreams for people and uh, do that, and then just sit in my office chair as a CEO of my company I've started within the past couple months, Motogate. That way I have something still in the industry, I can still be involved, I can sponsor new kids, I can still go to events, be relative to the sport and uh, have fun. Before the season starts, you know, training and freestyle, it, it's very year-round at some point because we always have something to do, some show or something. 
X Fighters goes for about six months, and I know the, the couple months before X Fighters starts, Robo usually comes out to America. You know, we always have a couple friends out, and we're usually throwing down a little more for the couple months before X Fighters comes up, and then maybe a little harder during X Games time. But I think it's always year round. We're just riding to have fun, so we go out there, you know, every day if we can, and as long as we're not sore or tired. We go out there and throw down and have fun all the time. Yeah. The type of bike to start in freestyle, hard to say. Depends the person's size or how old they are. All that, you know, is a is a factor in what bike you should ride. I think nowadays most people should start on a four stroke. I, I see in the future all the bike manufacturers only making four strokes, so it's gonna be hard to get two strokes in four or five years. I mean, right now only KTM and Yamaha are still producing them, and they're really not putting much technology into that. So I would say get on a four-stroke, and I would say if you're a smaller person, lighter weight, get on a 250F, be able to control that. You have a little more weight, you're a little bigger, get on a 450, and learn how to control that. If I didn't find FMX or FMX didn't find me, and I was just doing my thing, I'd still be riding motocross just like I did my whole life. I'd still be going to the track and doing all the jumps and whipping and railing corners and having fun doing that. But um, I could see myself, I like business. I, I like to work with my sponsors. I started my own company. I could see myself being in a business aspect. You know, still, I'm still an extreme type of person. I'd still be going out riding motocross. I'd still be, I still would go out ride my BMX bike or skateboard or whatever it be, surf. and. I'd be doing that, but maybe be a businessman and still having fun on the weekends. All right, there's the answers to your questions. Thanks for checking it out. You're here at FMX World. Come back soon.